Hi, this is Karen with NewClevelandRadio.net, and we have been having some uh, technical issues here at New Cleveland Radio. Um, maybe it's because I haven't been on the computer for the last two weeks because I had this mini, mini accident um, trying to be Superwoman, went to the car wash to get my car washed, decided to vacuum out my car, got the driver's side vacuumed out, and as I walked around the car, to do the passenger side, um, I somehow found the ground very easily. Yep, I fell down and I hit my right side and you might be able to see, I'm not sure, but I have a couple of little like holes all over my body where I um, got pebbles in them and scraped them, had one on my forehead as well. Um, but I re-injured uh, my left femur uh, that is was repaired eight years ago and uh, for three and a half days I was an invalid in bed they couldn't figure out what was going on why I had so much pain um, and when they finally figured it out they sent me to rehab where rehab has gotten me back on my feet although temporarily I'm using a walker uh, I will graduate to a cane and then I will throw all the apparatus away and I will be more aware of where I'm walking. And I don't think I'm ever going to vacuum up my car again. Uh, so if anybody wants to apply for the job, feel free. Uh, I'm taking applications. So um, this morning we were supposed to do uh, a recording of the Intentionality Gurus and uh, Zoom has made some changes, and I'm sure they're for the best with Zoom. You know, uh, I appreciate, you know, getting our technology uh, up to date and adding more things to uh, something that really could just stay very simple. But anyways, um, I clicked on a couple apps that looked interesting, and it really has thrown off um the program. And so the Intentionality Gurus is going to be uh, rescheduled uh, for a later date this week uh, because my schedule is sort of open. Uh, I'm just being really cognizant of what I'm doing and uh, making sure that I'm living by the principles that I talk about. And that is uh, self care. And if any of you are out there and, you know, you're just running around doing everything that you think you have to do. That's been me um, for the last almost, um, well, let's see, I'm 73. So I didn't do it when I was an infant, but I'll say at least for the last, um, oh, 65 years. Um, once I knew uh, how to do chores, um, I just found that I was responsible for doing a lot of things. And, a lot, and oftentimes it was something that was in my brain, not something that somebody else was telling me to do. Um, give you a real quick example. My mother was a working mother in the 50s and 60s. And I have two older brothers. And uh, when we moved to our home on Ohio in Detroit, um, sort of weird because now I live in Ohio. But anyways, when we moved to that house, um, I had my own bedroom at the back of the house and my brother's bedroom was towards the front and then the stairway going down. And uh, I'm not going to say my brothers were pigs. They're more like slobs. Okay, so they sort of lived like pigs. They had trash all over the room. And on Fridays, when I'd come home from school, I took it upon myself that I should be cleaning the house. Um, and in my mind, I did a really, really good job. And I would go in and clean up their room. Except the problem was, I would start putting things away for them where I thought it was logical. And uh, by early evening on Friday, uh, my brothers were yelling at me because they couldn't find certain things. They could find it in the pile all over the room, but they couldn't find it in the places that I thought were important, like the closet or the dresser, whatever. So anyways, uh, ever since that time, I've always taken upon myself that something has to get done, I do it. That's what happened two weeks ago when I decided that 
uh, my car needed vacuuming, even though my husband said, why don't you wait for me? Um, I thought, you know, he's working full time. He's busy. You know, what is there to vacuuming out a car? So now I know, and uh, I will probably never do it again. So that's why applications are open. Um, I'm also making some other changes and I'm hoping that you all can um, understand. Uh, I'm going to slow down on my personal podcast, Avoid the Maze. Um, I don't know how many I'm going to record per week, but um, I decided to downsize that so I could put more time into my coaching business. Yes, I can. That's the name of the coaching business. Um, I'm hoping that as I'm working with you to, you know, grasp on to the things that you want to do, I'm going to learn right along with you. Um, I've experienced this and sometimes it does take a fall where you hit your head on the ground to say to yourself, you know what? I need to make a change. And today's the day. So for instance, I'll give you another example of something that just happened to me today. So, um, you know, this is my first day alone. Uh, I came home from rehab on Friday night. My husband was with me all weekend. Um, you know, eagle eye, uh, rich. Uh, if I started to go someplace in the house, he'd say, what do you think you're doing? Um, and a couple of times it was like, well, no, I'm going to go fold the laundry. And it would be like, uh, wait a second, you know, let me bring you to a place where it's more convenient for you to do it rather than um, the way I was trying to, and I'm not going to even explain that. So today I'm home alone because he's working. Um, my dining room table is my makeshift office for at least the next week. Uh, I do go to see the doctor tomorrow. So we'll see what he says about my mobility and what I can and cannot do. Uh, and I'm going to listen because it's important. Okay. Um, I have to acknowledge I am 73 years old and at 73 years old, our reflexes are not the same as they were when we were 10 years old or 17 years old or even 37 or 57. Things do change. And by acknowledging that, okay, I can be a better person. Um, and when I say better person, it means uh, keeping myself safe, not depending on others to take care of me. Um, the last two weeks were really, really hard for me, okay? Uh, and when you're lying in a hospital bed and you can't move that leg and they tell you not to move it because they don't know what's wrong with it, uh, that gives you time to think about, wow, this isn't where I want to be. And what is it that I can do to make it better for myself? And how can I share that with you, my podcast listeners and my future client clients out there? So if any of you really want to make a change in your life and, you know, I could work with anybody from teenagers to um, adults, uh, 60 and up, reach out to me. I've gone through a lot of changes in my life and some I did it cognitively. Others, I'm not sure how I got there, what I was doing there and how I came out of it. And that really is not good. So I encourage you to contact me at newclevelandradio at gmail.com. Let's get together virtually. Let's talk about our issues and let me help you. I'm going to extend the special rate uh, that was going to go through the first week of July. But due to what I've just been through, I'm extending that through the end of July. So if you want to know what that is, please contact me. Um, it is such a huge discount that um, I'm just, I'm, I'm encouraging you take the first step and um, let's not be overwhelmed with cost or anything else. Uh, so I am going to extend it through July. I look forward to hearing from you. And just in case you're wondering 
why I look so yellow in this podcast. It's because I'm sitting at my dining room table. The wall behind me is actually gray. Okay. Yes, I am wearing red glasses because my other glasses broke when I fell. Um, and the my chandelier or whatever you want to call it, light fixture, um, is just casting a horrible yellow tint. I cannot get rid of it. Uh, so I'm going to be a little dependent on my husband when he gets home to say, hey, buddy, get this fixed. So in the meantime, have a great day. Please contact me. Uh, again, that special four coaching is going to go through the end of July. So get on it. And uh, I hope to see you all real soon. And actually, I want you to know, I'm not in pain anymore. A little bit of discomfort. And physical therapy has been absolutely wonderful. And uh, I'll tell you a little bit more about where I went and um, how great the staff was. But that's for another day. So I say, have a great day, everybody. And if I can figure out how to turn this off, because you know what? They did it to me again at Zoom. They move things. So I'm just going to say, bye-bye.